Hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning back in to Tightlining Maryland. I am out on the Gunpowder River. Um, there is a nice fog over the river today that you can probably see. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of dry fly fishing for probably the first two hours. I'm going to nymph um, probably a good chunk of the rest of it, trying to use some natural imitations and then maybe towards the end some mop flies. But um, this river's been high all summer. The rain, even though it's a tailwater, has kept it very, very high because the reservoir is just taking on too much water, uh, excuse me, water. So um, essentially they've had to do a lot of releases. So this CFS is usually, you know, around 50 to 75 and all summer it's been about 225 to 300 or higher almost every day. So right now it's about 150 or 160 I want to say. Um, temperature's good at about 60 to 62, but <clears throat> I just figured since I haven't really been here but maybe once all summer and this is usually a river that I can get to anytime, I figured um, probably hasn't had a lot of pressure so today would be a good day to head out. So I'm going to start recording and hopefully get some fish to net, but um, you know, it's a challenging river and the water is definitely different than I'm used to fishing. So it'll be uh, nice to see if I can adapt, but thanks for tuning back in and hope you enjoy. So I just had my first fish of the day, even though I've had some pretty nice takes. Um, this is gonna be the first one to hand, tiny, but uh, you know, it's a fish and we're not working and that could be the case on a Monday, so a good start and off he goes but uh, he took this basically this caddis fly that I've got here uh, elk hair caddis uh, with a gray body but um, that's first fish to hand I've had three so far that I've gotten to hit uh, one of which was a very nice fish that came out of the water probably have been one of my better fish on this river but um unfortunately missed the hook set and this one i actually just got lucky on so we'll see if we can't get a couple more and then eventually we're going to switch over to some nymphing but uh, it's a good day to be out on the river so i've got my first trout of the day i got him on actually the uh the swing um which i usually don't do a ton of and he hit what looks to be the prince nymph which i don't fish much but there he goes uh off to be you know fighting another day so small fish but nevertheless uh good to get on the board quick and not get skunked so we're gonna turn the camera off probably and maybe wait for some more fish um because I, I really just have had a small battery and memory card as of late so we'll uh we'll see what happens so i got a little bit better of a fish for the gunpowder here we took the mop fly I want to try to get him upstream of me. He's on a barbless hook, so liable to pop off. Ah. And there we go. Great colors. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Solid fish. Probably about nine or ten inches. Great colors, good spots. Um, but we're gonna get him back in. There he goes. So right now the setup I just switched over to because I figure they're gonna be pretty aggressively hitting as they usually do in the fall. Uh, kind of uh, green weenies and mop flies and you know things that just kind of pop in this water column right now. So I tied this this morning. It's got a gold bead, a little bit of black dubbing, and um, just the green mop. So it's pretty simple, but uh, it's effective. So I'm gonna try to get a couple more drifts, maybe on camera, to see what happens and see if you can't put one on film.
Got another one. This one looks like he took the prints now. Tiny little brown trout, but nevertheless, a fish. There he goes. Had a couple of hits in this particular spot, and this is the first fish to net from it. Um, I even think he had a fish chasing him in, but uh, another really pretty fish. They're colored up. I mean, here, these pink spots are nice and bright, and the dark spots are nice and dark. Just uh, everything about these fish are great right now. So, hopefully, we can keep getting some more. I'm gonna try to hold this spot. It's got a nice emerald green tint. Um, can sneak up on them a little bit and not have to worry about them spooking. The water's a little slower right now in this particular hole. So I wanna see if we can drag them off the bottom. But the ticket seems to be the little bit larger fish want the the mop fly, and the tiny fish want the uh, want the prince nymph. I don't know what it is right now, but that that is the uh, the ticket. I'm trying to step out to this far side. So there's a undercut on this rock that I'm just trying to run it up underneath to see if I can't pull something out. There we go. Ugh. This one took the Prince Nymph too. And I usually do not fish these flies, but something about it today just piqued my interest in the box. So he's got a nice cool little lip right there, nice and dark. But look at the adipose fin. Beautiful fish. Very cool coloration on this lip. Off he goes. All right, so because of just limited time on the uh, SD card, I'm gonna turn this off since I've got a couple fish on camera and uh, ultimately just try to start putting fish on whenever, whenever I catch them. So put a fish on when I get a fish on. Yeah, there's another hit right there. Oh, on the swing. All right, well, these fish are eager, so more to come. I just hooked into a little bit nicer of a fish, I think. Um, not great, but a good fish. Second one out of this hole. I didn't record the last one, but hopefully we can get this guy to net. Yeah, he's a good one. For this, for this hole in this river, it's a good fish. There we go. Yeah, they're dark in here right now. Nice fish. Nice and dark. Let's get him back. And a little bit smaller one this time, but nevertheless, we'll take it. I'll probably pop off before I even get a hand on him. Nope. 
Again, another small brown from the gunpowder, but always good to have a tug on the end of your line. So that probably makes about a dozen fish today. Um, again, haven't recorded all of them, but certainly been nice to get out on the river and get some hits. It's been a while since I fished the gunpowder, so any day you get a dozen on here is definitely a good day. That was a nice fish. I well, picked up another one. Probably not as good as the one I missed, but get the prints now too. Good day. Had fish on both flies and ample. So there he goes. Try to pick up another one in this hole and then move up to the next one. It's got a nice little deep run in it. Let's see if we can't get one out of there too. Got another one. And he took the prince nymph too. Well, and there he goes. Holy moly, that was three in a row. I've only done that twice uh, here now. But unfortunately, I didn't get him to hand, but take the hit. Especially in this tiny little run. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera, and start waiting till I get some fish. I mean, I know it's a weird thing to say given I've been catching fish, but I know this memory card, memory card doesn't have a ton of time left on it, and uh, I definitely want to maximize as many fish on film as I can get. So, as I get a hit, so I just pulled into one here in this nice deep little hole, but hopefully it doesn't come off. Ugh. Oh, that's a nice buttery brown here on the gunpowder today. Ooh, look at those colors. Nice and yellow. Beautiful fish. Get him off. Nice, beautiful fish. Another dark brown from the gunpowder. Oh. Oh. Oops. Can't believe I didn't lose that one there. Great fish. Tell you what, these fish are eagerly taking just about everything today. Other than dry, they didn't have a great amount of success on that, but underneath, we've been having a lot of luck. Nice fish today. Well, I want to keep fishing out this run then. See if we can't put some more on film. And I've been the hardest of takes is a little bit more subtle. That line just kind of stops 
and then you kind of know that something's going on down there. So, usually you can feel that tick, 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 and a nice little bang. But uh, today it's been subtle takes, but nevertheless, takes and fish in the net. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, try to get a few more here. Try to keep fishing too. I think I got a little bit of time left, but not a ton. But for now, we're gonna turn it back off right after this drift. That's why. Now let's turn it off. We got plenty on film. So far, so good in terms of getting good film on. Oh boy, I have a really nice fish. I gotta get him out of that faster current. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, yeah, this is holy moly. This might be. Oh, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19 inch fish. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be my best trout here in the gunpowder. Oh, I gotta keep this guy on. Side pressure, keep him upstream. Keep them under the water. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh mama, look at that fish. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. By far my personal best on the gunpowder. Woo! Holy smokes. And he is fat too. Holy moly. <sighs> Alright, let me get things in order. This is the fish. I don't want to say of a lifetime, but this is the fish of the year here on the gunpowder. Oh, he was tucked up right underneath of that log jam. And I caught plenty of fish below him. And I just got one perfect drift in and he smacked it. And I didn't quite know how big he was. And then next thing I know, he's making a direct run for it. So I just, you know, try to force him out. And then from there, you guys saw the rest of it. So let me get him uh, together because I do not want to harm this beautiful fish all right guys so i have taken the hooks out i've gotten a couple quick picks um nothing special on the pictures for this fish but uh it is time to release him and let him fight another day so let me take him out of the net look at that fish Solid wild rainbow, or excuse me, wild brown here on the uh, the gunpowder. He is a healthy, probably 16 to 17 inch fish. So let's get him back, back in.
so I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, it is going to be darn near impossible to beat that fish for me, given that that is my personal best here on the gunpowder. Um, I've caught 14 to 16, uh, but today that guy was pushing 16 and 17 very, very easily. Um, again, just quickly, he was caught right out of that um, log jam where that undercut is. I just got one good drift on the top side of it down in. Um, and just again, one of those light kind of line pauses where you set the hook and with a fish like that, you don't quite know what it is until he makes his first run. And that's when I knew I had to put a little bit of backbone in him uh, with this syndicate rod. So uh, I was able to horse him out of that channel, get him into the softer water, keep him upstream and just drift him right into the net. So great day. I probably caught, I would easily say 18 fish. I think I was closer to two dozen, um, not all of which are going to be on camera today. So uh, a lot of it though, however, I was pretty pleased to have gotten live on film, even had a triple um, and a personal best. So awesome day here on the gunpowder. Excited that I got out here. Um, again, the CFS was higher than usual. It was kind of at the 150 to 170 range, but that spreads the fish out. That means that they're going to be all over the river. They're going to be a little bit more active. Um, and even with all the kayakers and tubers and the people just out here enjoying the river, I was able to come out fish, tight line, and uh, enjoy it as well. So happy Labor Day to everybody. Um, I hope you had some success if you got out, but uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button or like, and I look forward to the next time I can see you out on a river. Got another nice fish. Caught him at the head of the run up here. Got to get him into the net before we lose him. Uh, all right. Now this is going to be unique. This Where guys' gill plates popping out. Hopefully he's all right.